For you and those that don't know me, I'm Jim, I'm Anthony's brother. I uh, just want to take a quick second to thank all of you for coming out today. I know it's been hot and rainy. It's getting there. Um, Lisa, your family, officially. Um, you know, I don't think I'm the only one up here that didn't believe this day was actually going to happen with Anthony. <laughs> But if the last few years have taught us anything, anything is possible. Uh, I'm not really one to reflect back but on the past, but uh, I was obligated to make a speech today. So as I was thinking back on our childhood, Anthony and I are pretty similar. We both have similar interests in books, movies, video games. We're both smart, funny. I've heard we sound the same on that. Um, yeah, on the phone, we, we sound exactly the same. Um, you know, many people would be correct in thinking that uh, I, don't, I don't really talk much, but <laughs> so, that I barely talk though. But people, I don't think I've met Ben. Uh, I met Ben last weekend, at, or two weeks ago at the bachelor, bachelor party. And on a seven hour tubing adventure that was supposed to be four hours long, Aaron. I, I think Ben said a total of five words the entire time. So, uh, there's always someone out there like, that can do something better than you. Um, growing up though, and I gotta say, you're a great role model. You show me exactly what not to do. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, you made some terrible decisions in your life. <laughs> Your late teens, early 20s, it's like you were personally researching how to write one of those uh, for dummy books. <laughs> how to make poor choices for dummies. <laughs> All kidding aside though, <laughs> you really have turned your life around for the better. You really stepped up when you need to and I'm truly proud of how far you've gone. I'll finish this up by giving you three pieces of advice I've learned over the 14 years I've been with my uh, wife, Jessie. First and foremost, and most importantly, is to listen to your wife, as she is usually right. And for example, hypothetically speaking, of course, you need to fake your own death, and Lisa would think that the best way to do this is to jump in a fake bat of acid equipped with its own air supply instead of bones, then she's probably right. Sure, there might be less complicated and realistic ways to fake your death, but trust me, she's right. Secondly, try to see it and understand any situation from Lisa's point of view. Because this leads back to the first piece of advice, Lisa is usually right. <laughs> Lastly, you got to learn to evolve and grow with each other. You two are not the same people you met when you, when you first met, and you won't be the same people next year, or in five years, or ten years, or twenty years. Your hobbies and interests will change over time, so try to find things that both of you enjoy doing. Oh no. One second. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't drink, so. So it's us to the happy couple and remember to enjoy tonight because, as I know firsthand, it's the most expensive party you'll ever throw. <laughs> <laughs> okay.